Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Stratter Day. Woo woo! Yes, yes, yes. And I'm feeling kind of jumpity today. I don't know what <laughs> it is. So if I'm out there like shredding like a mile a minute and it doesn't even make sense, you know why. <laughs> My ADD has gone array. <laughs> but uh, we do have a really cool one. Um, and actually, I think this might have been the first guitar that I might have called in to, for Norm to take a look at. Um, which is kind of cool, because uh, we bought it, and it is a cool guitar. Um, let's check it out. This is a 1979 Fender Stratocaster in blonde. Mm-hmm. And it looks like the 80s are on its way. I love this one. It is so cool. Oh! Oh, it's just because it's Nick, yellow. Come on in. So, Nick. Yes, sir. Actually had one of these. I had a 76. It was exactly the same. And uh, Tell man, us. I'm so fond of these guitars. It was just the stock blonde, uh, whoops, crunch, <laughs> uh, was mint. Just the stock blonde strap that more or less everybody that was playing pop music had. Really? In the, in the uh, 80s, yeah, because it has that, what we used to call the scritty politty sound. Kids, if you've ever heard of that. And well, can you explain that, what that, that was, is? It's super clean, it's really poppy when you go on the in between settings. This or this, you get this really bright bounce. That, I noticed that, that, that. picks up on it. It was on at, like all the pop records in the eighties. He's. I it's, wasn't there, but now that he explains it, I hear it. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's got that real, that real. Almost high, like I could hear it on like a Bowie record or something. I see. Oh yeah, lots of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Very so cool this, guitar. Yeah, what a piece of nostalgia. This one's actually in fantastic shape, um, and it's not too heavy either. Some of these were. God awful head. Oh man, some of those late 70s but, uh, are tanks. Uh, we had a Sierra Taupe one that's just weighed a lot, but this one's pretty, yeah. pretty uh, weighs not too Normally bad. Normally I don't mind because heavier guitars, in my opinion, do tend to sound a bit better, but this one, uh, this one's got it going on. I heard you playing it out there. Yeah, it's really Put cool. Put it through its paces. And it plays nice, huh? It, it really does. And I love that maple neck. You got that truss rod yeah. um, popping out and that that 70s logo big style logo yeah exactly i never thought it'd be so nostalgic for for like a big headstock strap but they are really uh now that you see less and less of the old ones i mean small headstock straps we we sell them as soon as we get yeah. them don't we so it's kind of so this is going to be the new vanguard of what's uh what's a cool vintage guitar you want what you can't have and, and still, we got one and it's still from the 70s kids <laughs> This yeah. is a really crazy transition period in rock and roll music too. I mean, the 80s are on its way and that bar works really nice um, for well, you to be able to do a lot of that stuff. And the other right. thing is, where I'm from, punk was going on and nobody really wanted Stratocasters. They wanted stuff you could, uh, yeah. you know, with, with bigger buckers and stuff you can really make a lot of noise with. But I love these guitars. It's really a special one. Yeah, it's beautiful. There's not any discoloring on it. O oftentimes with these, whether because of the lacquer or whatever, they tend to go brownish around the corners. But uh, this is in spanking good shape. Yeah. That's really a guitar cool. term. <laughs> well, let's take it out front. And uh, soon enough, we're going to have Nick do some demoing too, because we need Nick. <laughs> Nick is a big staple of Norman's Rare Guitars, and we love having him. Big and, staple. Uh, Oh, come oh on. my god. <laughs> Me too, Nick. Let's go. Let's go. I've got my COVID 19 pounds on. <laughs> That's plus 19. Woo! Let's do it. <laughs> All right, we're out front with the 1979 Fender Stratocaster in blonde. What? With a maple neck? Black pick guard? Are you kidding me? Jen? Can I get a woo? Can I get a woo? Oh! It's, come on, it's yellow, Jen. I know, it's my favorite color. All right, whatever. <laughs> we're also going through the 60s Fender Twin Reverb. All right, starting off with that neck pickup. Here we go.
and middle. go into middle and bridge pickup. Here we go. Thank you. 
have it, your 1979 Fender Stratocaster in blonde. I thought it was Olympic white, but it literally is blonde. Really cool guitar. Um, check out these guitars at normansrayguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. See you very soon. Bye.